What's up guys, so today I'm going to be making Migos, which is, it's Tex-Mex, 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 Migos, Tex means Texas, and Mex means Mexis, I mean, Mexico, so, um, Texas and Mexico, um, made the food, both of them together, and since they're like right across each other from the border, they called it, they made this together called Migos. So that is Tex-Mex Migos. It might look a little bit gross or bad, but it's actually really good. Okay, let's get into it. Let's go. First, you will need 12 large eggs. I'll get that. Wait a second. Okay. I got my bowl right here. And 12 eggs, so this might take a little bit of time. Crack. This is gonna take a while, so wait a second. I'll be back. Twelve eggs are done. Now you need one fourth cup of milk. You can use any milk, really. You can have soy, almond, um, normal milk, cashew. There's lots of type of um, ones that you can use. So I'm gonna be using. Actually, I'll use almond because it's pretty sweet and good for cooking a lot. So let me get my one fourth cup. noise. Okay. Fridge. Back up. Okay, that's good. Put milk back in the fridge. Next thing, one teaspoon each one. So first we're going to have one and a half teaspoon, I mean one half, one half teaspoon, so I'm grabbing my one half teaspoon right now. Okay, so first we're going to have one um, half teaspoon um, ground cumin, it's okay if you don't have these, you don't have to have them. There might be some other um, things that you can use. So I'm looking for my ground cumin. Ooh, barely have any. Let's see if I have enough. I think I have enough. I only have this much. Okay, one half teaspoon ground cumin is done, and then we're going to have one half um, gra um, fine sea salt, so just sea salt. Uh, doesn't actually have to be fine, just some good salt. And so one half t 
teaspoon of that. Next, um, it's one half teaspoon freshly cracked black pepper. Let me get that. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I got my freshly um, cracked black pepper. This is going to be kind of hard. This is freshly cracking it. Because there's a whole bunch of pepper inside here. I'm just cracking it. Now. I know this is a lot, but I'll do the rest in a teaspoon. some extra black pepper um, that fell off. I mean, it didn't fall off, but it just went on the counter. But don't do this unless you cleaned your counter, because that would be gross. And wash your hands after you finish cracking the eggs. Okay, so next, you are going to have one tablespoon of olive oil. So let me get one tablespoon. Okay, this is a big bottle. Next thing is um, one small white onion, peeled and diced. So I'm gonna cut this up real quick. So wait a second. Okay guys, once the onions are done getting cut up, add them in. You are, unless you aren't an adult, which not everybody. Okay, now um, one jalapeno seeded and finely chopped. So I'll go get that. Wait a second. So, I actually don't have any jalapenos. 
Wait, maybe I do. Let me go check. So I actually do not have a jalapeno. But if you did, you would only need one. It'd be seeded and finely chopped. But instead of that, um, you can use I can use um, crushed red pepper, which is like good for um, pizza. And um, so you're gonna put So you only put about a sprinkle. Like, that's good. So then, um, next thing I will have three cloves garlic minced. So let me go get that. So you can either use, um, cut up garlic, three cloves, or what I normally do is I just use this. So you only need about a tiny spoonful. So this way is a lot easier because you don't have to spend all that time cutting up the garlic. Oh, that's strong. Just one tiny spoon of it. The tiniest, well, the spoon that you use normally for like heating and stuff. Okay, so next thing is um, two large um, handfuls of corn um, tortilla chips, roughly crumbled. So, first but we need to actually cook the eggs first so I'm gonna go well yeah I'm gonna cook them right now I'll show you what I do and yeah okay so I have an, ele an electric um, stove top so if that you're gonna be using like a four or five I don't really know for like gas stoves and stuff, but I'm gonna turn this on. You gotta turn it to four or five. I'm gonna turn it to five. So now, well actually, I forgot to mix. won't be too long. Okay. Okay. Now, I just stirred this up, but Make sure you be really careful when you're pouring it in. Okay. Okay. I got that. Drip coming from the bowl. it so I'm just gonna use normal spatula just a slight so it might take a while actually so I'll be there when it's almost done cooking but and show you what it looks like when it's almost done cooking so yeah I'll be back in a second okay guys it's almost done I know it looks a little bit gross but 
trust me. It's not. So, actually, so it feels short, but I've, it's actually been 30 minutes for me, because I've been cooking this for a long time. It's about to be done. Okay, so I'll be back with you when it's done. See ya. Okay, so now it is done, but we still have to add some more things. Okay. So, let's... Let me see. Okay. Okay, so, we are going to be having two large handful um, handfuls of corn tortilla chips uh, roughly crumbled so I'm getting I normally just use like these chips so it says about two handfuls that's actually that's a whole lot Remember to wash your hands. Because this might be disgusting if you don't wash your hands and you use your hands to crush it up. I don't think you're a Because I'm making the YouTube video. Okay, so wait a second, I need to mix these in. Remember, they have to be roughly crumbled. Oh, that smells actually so good. If you were here, it smells so good. Okay. So now you are going to have two-thirds of, um, two-third cup of salsa. It can be homemade or, um, or it can be, um, or it can just be home, uh, or it can just be store-bought. So I'm getting my salsa right now. So I just use this salsa. So what did they say? Two thirds? I said two thirds. Almost forgot. Cause I haven't made this I haven't made this in a long time, so some of these ingredients I forgot, but I just double checked, so I got it right. Let me get a spoon. Yeah, I'm gonna get a spoon in a second. Yeah, I need a spoon. So you can't see me doing this, but all I'm doing is just putting salsa into here. So then I'll have two thirds. I don't think I'll have enough for another cup, but I'll get I'll open up a new salsa. Okay, so let me just get the rest up that I have. Okay guys, I'm about to go get um, a new salsa because I don't have enough. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Be back. 
in a second. Okay, I just got a new salsa. About to be done. Okay, that is good. Now I shall wash this, rinse it out. So now, once that is in, I know there's so much mixing, but... Oh, now it's looking like amigas. Not to amigas. Amigas in Spanish is friends. You're not eating amigas. You're eating migas without the A. Okay, so don't get confused. Because you are not eating people. You're eating migas. Looks like too much salsa, but it's not. Okay, so... I'll do a little bit more mixing. I'm gonna try this. Mm. Mm. That's so good. No. Nothing beats that. This is one of my favorite dinners. So I'm cooking this for dinner because I love making it. Really need more of this. Right now, I just ate something with my hands. I just gotta go wash my hands. So, you are gonna add two third cup shredded Mexican blend cheese, plus extra for serving. So each serving you can add extra cheese. So it doesn't have to be um, Mexican blend cheese. It can just be whatever cheese. Probably not Parmesan, like, yeah. So two third cups of that. And then I got some toppings that I normally use. So this is what tastes really good. Chopped fresh cilantro, what was it? Oh, diced red onions, and uh, oh, sliced avocado. What was it again? Oh, diced tomatoes, and I'm pretty sure extra salsa. I love extra salsa on mine. Oh, and extra cheese. Extra cheese, perfect. I say more the merrier um, for all the toppings and cheese because like cheese and those toppings especially the cilantro perfect thing ever okay so I just finished mixing that together which one says sitting down Okay, that's good. Okay, that's how to make migas, and I'm gonna get a tiny plate for it. Go ask Dawson. Ask Dawson. He knows. Okay. I'm gonna test this. Honest review.
Okay, first bite. Mm, mm, mm. Wait. I forgot to add the cheese. Actually, it tastes good without the cheese too. But. If I rate it 1 out of 10, you probably 9.8. Actually, probably this 9.5. 9.5. That's it. Have to make me guys. Bye. Mm, they so good.